In this video, we see an ITJ numerical problem which was asked in the year 1983 and is based on the concept of composition of functions. Let us see what the question has to say. Nowadays, we have objective questions too, but earlier there were subjective questions which included true false type questions also. So, let us see what the question of ITJ 1983 was and let us solve it. The question asks me to state true or false. If fx is the function given to me as a minus x raised to the power n whole power 1 upon n where n belongs to positive integers and x is equal to f of f of x. That means the question asks me to state either x is equal to f of f of x is true or it is false. So, the first thing that I need to say it is true or false is after solving it. So, let us solve the question. I am supposed to find f of f of x which is composition of function. That means wherever I have a minus x raised to the power n raised to the power 1 upon n is my fx. So, I have to do f and internally I have fx put the value of fx a minus x raised to the power n whole upon 1 upon n. Now, f of the whole function means wherever I have the function value as x, I need to put the value. So, that means I get a minus a minus x raised to the power n whole upon 1 raised to the power n and n along with 1 raised to the power n. Actually, what is happening is, let us see. The function is fx and it is a minus x raised to the power n and one more power is there that is outside. So, that outside power should not be considered in the first place. What I did was I wrote a minus then wherever I obtained this x I just wrote what a minus x raised to the power n whole raised to the power 1 by n. Now, the power n which was here comes outside and the whole power 1 by n, so the whole power 1 by n also comes, that cannot be excluded, that will come later, so we will write it later. Now what happens is, I see that n and 1 by n gets cancelled, the whole power 1 by n was there which I have to write, what is left, a is left, minus is left, now a minus x raised to the power n a minus x raised to the power n is left and the whole bracket, these brackets have gone, they are cancelled. Which bracket is left? The outside brackets are left. So, you put the outside bracket, what else is left? Power 1 by n is left, you put the power 1 by n. Now, what happens? You open the brackets in between, a comes, minus comes, now, a again comes, minus minus becomes plus x raised to the power n, outside power 1 by n remains as it is. Now, a cancels with minus a, what are you left with? You are left with x raised to the power n, whole power 1 by n. You see, it is x raised to the power n, whole power 1 by n, n 1 by n, power gets cancelled, what is left? x. We started with what? We started with f of f of x. We get what? We get x. That means my x is equal to f of f of x. And x is equal to f of f of x means this is what he was asked to find and we found it. That means we have what? We have obtained the answer as true and not false. So, this question was asked in ITJ. It is a simple question based on the composition of functions. The only thing that can go wrong is the role play of powers and brackets. If you do not consider the power, you miss a power or you miss the signs in the brackets, you may get the wrong answer. So, the answer is true and not false.